This video will show you how to create custom voice recordings in the M1 Gold system. The M1 Gold allows up to 10 custom voice messages. Each message can be up to 6 seconds in length. Longer messages are allowed by occupying multiple custom recording blocks. This is a helpful feature if desired words are not part of the system vocabulary or you desire to personalize the system with a person's name. Recordings are performed using an ELK keypad and a telephone connected to the phone line going into the M1. The telephone acts as your microphone. To record a custom message, you must access the System Settings menu in the keypad. Press the ELK key, then press 8. Press the right arrow key and enter a Master User or Installer code when prompted. Next, press 7 to access Custom Voice Message Record menu. Then press the right arrow key to go into this menu. Select the block that you wish to record into. Then press the left arrow key. A single block allows recording up to 6 seconds. If a longer message is needed, select multiple blocks on this screen. Take the phone off hook, then press the left arrow key to begin recording. This is a custom voice message in the M1. Press the zero key to stop recording, or the system will automatically stop recording after the allotted time. To play back the recording, press the right arrow key. This is a custom voice message in the M1. Custom voice messages can be applied to any area of programming with voice descriptions, such as zones, tasks, outputs, etc. I will show you how to apply the message to a zone. Here, Zone 1 is set up as a non-alarm zone. The default voice message of the zone is shown here. To change it, select the first drop-down box and find Custom 1. This will be close to the bottom of the list. You can quickly access the custom messages by typing an apostrophe. Select Custom 1, and then we will want to clear the word 1 from the second drop-down menu. We want to set this second drop-down to blank. Press Send and Say to verify the message is the one that you want. This is a custom voice message in the M1. Also remember to save this change to the database. Now we can activate the chime to the voice mode by pressing the chime key on the keypad twice. The keypad will display chime equals voice. Now if I violate this magnetic contact attached to zone 1, the custom message will be played. This is a custom voice message in the M1. 